Yeah, thank you. It's cool. It's Friday night. Hello. Hi. Hi, Donna. Nice to see you. I know that it's like weird lighting in here because it kind of has to be. It's like hella dark. Um, I could like turn on these overhead lights more, but I think it would just make it the problem worse. But it's okay. We'll do the best we can with what we got. I know, I know. I was going, there's a time where I was posting every day, going live every day, like fucking killing the game. And, and I'm supposed to go live. Like they paid me to go live or whatever. But I haven't. And then I looked up when I was been working, you know. And then I look up one day and, I, and it's like, oh fuck, I haven't posted a TikTok for four months. Literally since like November 3rd. Today is like four fucking months since my last post. Isn't that crazy? I mean, that's what happens, man. If you're, if you're really on some, on some shit, it's like you don't realize how much time is going by. It's crazy. Hello. Hi. Hi from Nebraska. It's been a while. I know. That's what I'm saying. It has been a while. I miss this. I miss going live every day. I miss all this stuff. It was, a, it was always like hella fun <laughs> for me, but it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I have such a shameless crush on you. I'll take that. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate that. Good days and bad, though. He's a busy man. I am busy. Hi, Courtney. Good to see you. Hey, Russ. What's up, Kai? Hi, right, TikTok. I'm talking to you both as well. I'm on Instagram and TikTok. Same, same thing. I love your house. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. How's your day going? Well, it's the, the night. I'm, I'm getting ready to go to dinner. I got some, I got some time to kill. So uh, here we are, talking to you folks. And uh, I was, I've been thinking so much. I was like feeling like stress, like pressure. Like I need to get back on <laughs> posting content because there was a time where I was like, I was popping, but then. I don't know, man. I like making money. So I've just been working. Anyways, hi. Hello, everybody. Hello from Aspen, Colorado. What's up, Kyler? Do you like John Mayer? Holy fuck, I haven't heard that name in a decade. Hello, guys. Hi, everyone. I like your hair longer. Yeah, it is longer. It is a bit longer now. Uh, just kind of growing it out, running my, doing my thing, but doing my usual thing. How you doing, brother? You've been doing great. You have a day? Yeah, I do all right. I haven't made it alive forever. I'm glad you're here, Daisy. I saw your post on Instagram. You were a uh, little nurse. You got your nurse thing going on. Preach saving lives. I appreciate that. <laughs> we love a short king. That's funny. Hi, hi, penguins. Hello, guys. Johnny True Love, my man. What's up, buddy? Long time no see. I saw your cars. You got the black and purple now. All right. Fle driving around town flexing. Ha, ha, ha. That's dope. I like that. That's cool, man. How tall are you? I'm 6'1". But the heel gives me like, because I'm wearing these like, um, like slip-on shoes, like just slippers with my suit because I don't give a fuck. And uh, they give me like an inch, so I'm like 6'2 now. I'll take it. Keeping up with the big trial in SC? No, I don't keep up with fucking anything in SC. What's going on in SC? Big trial? Hey, boy. Hello. Hi, guys. I need to get out of, I need to get out of Vermont. There's nobody there. It's just the reflection. My dog, Max, thinks that there's somebody at the door because the ring light reflects. I'll show you guys. Can you see? The ring light is reflecting in the door. Can you see that? The ring light's reflecting in the door. And so now he thinks that there's somebody there because he's, he has, he's stupid. He doesn't have any depth perception. He, he has, he's uneducated. He's not stupid. He's just uneducated. Aren't you a boy? You don't know nothing. All right, go check it out. Go see. Go look. I bet you won't find anybody. Go check. Anything? He doesn't understand like focal length. <laughs> you don't know anything. You're just a dog. I'm just kidding. Come here. <laughs> You're a good boy. You mean well. He means well. Hello. Hi guys. Maxi man deserves a treat. He's protecting the house. Yeah, but he couldn't do anything. Not if he wanted to. Oh, I could do this to make the comments bigger. Thanks for the gifts, guys. Appreciate that. Sick. 
I haven't seen gifts in hi, hi my future. <laughs> Are you Chrishell's ex-husband? <laughs> no, uh, everybody, because we have the same last name, there's a, a kind of a famous actor that has, um, hey God, what's his fucking name? Something Hartley. Everybody asks if we're brothers or something like that. Thanks for the gifts, guys. I appreciate that. We're not. We're not. We just have the same last name. We're not. We don't actually have, um, we don't actually, uh, you know, we're not related. So it just is what it is. Thoughts on Andrew Tate? Well, he's in jail now. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Justin Hartley. That's right. Uh, that's right. That's who it is. But he's not. We're not related. Oh, yeah. How, howdy. That's funny because I'm actually from the South. That was the cowboy hat still. I actually really like that one. Somebody took a picture of me wearing a cowboy hat with Max like in my arms. I think it's like my wallpaper now. It's funny as fuck. I like that one a lot. What's up, guys? What do you do for fun? Ah! So I live in the hills in Beverly Hills. So like I'll drive like my supercar through the hills of Beverly Hills kind of fast, dangerously fast. And that's fun to me. It's kind of like decompressing a bit. And then um, I always go to like uh, like dinner, nice restaurants around here. I don't know. It's just dope because like I don't have to. The way I have my life set up is that like I don't have to give them money or nothing. I just it's already kind of they have my account on file. So it's always like a flex to just like go in there, eat food, buy stuff, whatever. And I don't have to pay. I just like walk out or whatever. And it's just charged to the account, which is dope. So I just like so I'll just drive my super car. The answer to the question what I do for fun, I drive my cars to the hills. And I go to nice restaurants. That's about it. You seem lonely. Oh, don't worry about me. I have a, is your suit Armani? No, this is this is a custom suit. Completely custom. Has my name on the back. Oh, maybe I'll show it to you a little bit later. As a successful man, how many friends do you really have? Um, you'd be surprised. Guys that like that make something of themselves, especially from like me. Like I didn't. Here's the thing. I was raised by a single mother. I didn't come from fucking anything. Nobody gave me money. I don't come from family money. Nothing like that. Like you have to work, you know, and like make something to yourself. And I just didn't want to be what it was like for me growing up, you know, just like getting by shit. I didn't want to live like that. So like I had to work um, and kind of figure it out. I struggled a bit for a long time, kind of figuring it out. Uh, and then now... I retired my mother, she doesn't work anymore. She took care of me as a kid, so I take care of her as an adult, you know? So there's that. And then uh, my friends that are also in the same boat, like people that actually make something of themselves, not like trust fund kids, but people that actually make something of themselves. Um, we're friends, but like the thing about that is like, in order to maintain that, they have to keep working and grinding, whatever. So we're friends, but we don't really, we're not hanging out every day. We're not doing shit. They're doing shit, I'm doing shit. We can call each other up and once in a while, like once a year, we'll like get together and do dope shit. But the fact of the matter is, is we can do dope shit. When you start hanging out with guys that are like aren't at your level yet, everything in your life compared to theirs makes you feel like you're bragging and it's not dope. That's not cool. Like, so there's a lot of people that fuck with me that I just straight up can't hang out with because it just makes me think they feel bad or vice versa. Like I feel bad, I feel guilty, or I feel that they feel, I feel bad or something because we're just not at the same level. So my boys that are G's, when we come together, it's dope. Because it's just like, all right, cool. Let's just like take a jet. Let's do this. And it's, like, it's always just like that. And you don't have to worry about it. So it's way different. The thing is though, with those friends, is you don't hear from them much because they're out doing their shit. But when you guys come together, it's dope. Does that make sense? I'm a trust fund kid, but work my ass off in insurance. That's dope. Yeah, the... Insurance game is a good racket. <laughs> what was the girl's name that made you that? What was the girl's name that made you push to better yourself? Uh, I've had a lot of girls in my life. None of them really pushed me to better myself. It was like, it was more like internal pressure. You get what I'm saying? Women do push you to better yourself and they do this sort of indirectly, even if they can't fucking articulate it. Sometimes they just don't understand that they're doing these things. Women sort of set a standard for men. I was going to post about this today, but the sun went down. I was too busy anyways and the sun went down. I was like, fuck, I'll get the light tomorrow or something. I don't know. But um, women set a standard for men. It's like a lot of guys, and I see this all the time because I know these guys that are out here talking about girls like the Manosphere guys because they all fuck with me because that's what I was used to. I used to talk about that all the time. 
Uh, I still kind of talk about it. No, but I just haven't posted lately. But all these Manosphere guys right here just like dogging on women and shit is crazy. And I'm just like, you guys don't fucking understand. Like women are right. Like, and the thing is about that is that women set the standard for which men have to rise to. You know, like, so what? They want successful guys. So what? They want guys that are in shape. So what? They want guys that are in a top echelon of, you know, men in society. So fucking what? That should, what, and you should want to be those things. You should want to be in shape. You should want to have abs. You should want to eat good, live good. You, want to, you should want to dress better. You should want to make money. You should do all those things that are what women are fucking attracted to. Because that's good for you as a man. It's good for, what's the alternative? Man, if the alternative is not do that, the alternative is not be rich, be broke, not be in shape, be fat, not dress well, dress like shit, not push yourself to be something important. You, you, you should just not do those things and get the most beautiful women. That's fucking, there's something wrong with you if you think that. It's not that their standards are impossibly high. It's just like you can't fucking meet them. And let me tell you something else. There are levels to this shit. Once you get to a certain point, I'm going to tell you. Once you get to a certain point, getting women, any women, it's fucking easy. Like literally, it's like, I don't have time for you, bitch. Like that's how it becomes, for real. And so like, like the answer is for all of you is to work, for real. And stop blaming women for having impossibly high standards. Just be the, high, uh, the impossible high standard. How about that? And you can, that's what's crazy. It's not like there's a, we're living in this super oppressive world in America where it's like really hard to get by and all that shit. In America, it's really fucking easy once you get a grip on something. So I really think that uh, it's, you should just you know, try to elevate your life because it will help you in your dating life dramatically, I promise. So, did women push me? Not directly, but sort of women as a whole, like the, women, the women's sphere um, definitely uh, propels me forward. Because otherwise, men wouldn't work at all, man. Y'all wouldn't try to do nothing if it wasn't for like, the, the nature, the nature inside of you to want to like mate and propagate and like procreate with, uh, with the opposite sex, you know, like that's, women sort of set the standard for men. They define what's, women define what's attractive, what they want in a partner or whatever. Men sometimes get mad about that because it's, it's hard. But then once you, once you kind of rise to that, you get all the women you want. <laughs> so just be better men. That's the answer. But yet you're alone. I, don't don't worry about me. Like I, I have very few lonely nights. I'm doing all right. Uh, but the, don't worry about me. What we will tolerate. Do you have veneers? No. These are braces. I have braces, and then sometimes I use the white strips, but rarely, and I just brush them every day. I'm assuming you're alone by cho choice. Uh, you guys are saying alone, but like, yes, I'm unmarried. That's the answer. Well, I wouldn't say I'm alone. I mean, I'm, I'm doing all right, but I would say that I'm not married. Yes, I'm not married. Can you talk to my husband? He has zero motivation. Here's the thing. Husbands are people, but especially the men. Husbands who have zero motivation to do fucking anything. Because here's the thing about women. They, women, the, the, uh, the idea of women and women themselves propel men to be greater. Because the alternative is you'll never get laid ever. So you got to become a better man. You got to look better. You got to dress better. You got to work harder, whatever. And so as you become a better man, then you start getting more um, options for dating. Okay? As a man. So if your husband, your current husband has no motivation, it's like you gave him everything before he earned it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, I, and that's, there's, I mean, it's, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. You know, some people want to get married young and grow together and all that. Fine, but uh, what ends up happening oftentimes is they get, they're like, well, I, I already got the woman. I don't have to work harder to get any more women. I'm, I'm complacent with the woman that I have and I'm just gonna settle into my life and not aspire to be much more because I got what I want and need, you know? And so it's hard. So the answer is you can't just motivate your husband, but you can, you can suggest to him that you wanna, you know, we want more for yourself and your family. And then what's he gonna do about that? You gotta be real subtle with that though, because that's a touchy subject for men. It 
Set, exactly. That's why I'm divorced three times. You're handsome. Thank you. Good days and bad, though. But I appreciate it. You answer my questions? LOL. I think I just did. Are you single? Yeah, then I do all right. Thank you for this, you're welcome. I haven't seen you in two years on here. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I've been around. Great live, thank you. Wait, what are the harsh truths about dating? So we've been talking about it this whole time. So welcome aboard. Tuning in, tuning in live. If a guy used to see you weekly now, but oops. If a guy used to see you weekly now, maybe once a month. Oh, okay, if a guy used to see you weekly now, maybe once a month, but texts you daily, what do I do? Okay, so a guy that was like into you, he goes seeing you a lot, and then suddenly he's, um, he doesn't see you as much, but it kind of keeps you on the back burner. It means that he's not as into you as he was at the beginning. And it happens a lot. So the thing is, is that it could be like, you know, he got what he wanted, and I don't want to assume what's going on with you, but I can assume that maybe he got what he wanted, whatever. And then it's like, he still wants you there as an option. You're like, but you're like the third one. You're like the third option. You get what I mean? Sorry to break it to you, sis. Uh, if he doesn't make time to see you, he's, you're, just, you're just one of them. He decided he wants options. Yeah, exactly. Where are you from? I'm from Charleston. Very third option energy, yeah. What age, uh, what do you, age difference do you think is too old? I don't know, man, as long as it's legal, you guys date who you want. Typically women like to date uh, older, three to five years older on average, but we'll go older than that. Guys like to date um, younger, like you know, early 20s, mid 20s, at all ages, but we'll date just generally younger. Hey, I have a question. Okay. Do you, uh, do you have any friends I'm ready to date again? Yeah, all my friends are like busy around the world. I don't know how they're doing the thing. I, I do have guys that are single, but they're just fuck boys. <laughs> they're not, they're not going to be serious. Christian, Christian Grey, that's funny. You have such a pretty smile. I'll take that. Hablo is Spanish? No. I took it in high school, but I'm terrible at it. Let's see here. Hi from North Carolina. I'm from South Carolina. That's dope. I'm from, I'm in, I live in Beverly Hills now, but I was in, a, I lived in, I grew up in South Carolina. Nice house, thank you. What kind of women are you into? Pretty ones. Are you, sorry. Are you watching the Murdoch trial? No, somebody just said that on my live too, talking about the Murdoch trial, I have no idea what that is. What is the Murdoch trial? Cause I'm, I'm from South Carolina, but I don't keep up with that shit, man. I moved away on purpose. <laughs> uh, but somebody told me about that. Best regards from Miami. Oh shit. What's up from Miami? I, uh, I am literally going to be half my time in Miami. So I'm looking at a place in South beach with the continuum. Uh, maybe, maybe the W there too. Cause I have a place, I have a place at the W here. In Hollywood, I, I rarely stay there, but I do have a place there, and it was a really easy shoe in to go to the W in South Beach. Uh, but I was looking at some other places too. I'm working with a, a real estate agent out there. Literally, I'm going to be half and half, so I'll be in that neck of the woods. Let me work for you, maybe. Uh, maybe. DM me. Hi. Where's your accent? I have a little bit of an accent. It depends. It comes out. It comes out sometimes. You're handsome, thank you. Good days and bad. Staying at the Ritz, nicer than your place. Let me join, that would be fun. I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Um, dang, you're from South Carolina, never knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What watch are you wearing? Uh, this is the Breguet uh, retro, Retrograde. I don't know if you guys know anything about watches. Um, I like kind of like, I like nice watches, but like different. So like this one's the Breguet Retrograde in, in white gold. It kind of looks like the old school pocket watches, but it has the date at the bottom. If you guys want to look at the details, it's like, you can see a little cog like, it, 
Turbion spinning. I don't know if you can see that. It's the same one Batman wore in, um, and Ben Affleck was Batman. I thought it was cool. Oh, I'm at the Ritz Paris. That's cool. I like the Ritz. I like old stuffy vibes. I like that. I mean, you can see like in my home, like it's legit, like, <laughs> like old stuffy vibes. That's my shit. How do you like LA? I love it. I love the weather in LA. Let's go. Let me join. No, no, no. I don't want you to like join my live or anything. If I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to sit in here and listen to your fucking opinions. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here to give mine. Do you live alone? Yes. Do you have a dog? Yes. Max, come here, boy. Where'd you go? Put himself to bed upstairs. Hang on, he's coming. Max, come here, boy. I hear his little pause. Come on, Max. We're talking about you. Come on. Come on. What are harsh truths, harsh, harsh truths about dating? We were talking about them just a minute ago. Come on. I know. It's still, the reflection stresses you out. My boy Max, he just got a haircut today. He's a good boy. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not scared. I'm on both TikTok and Instagram. Um, but you can, you can stick along for the show if you want. So cute. Hi. Hi, Max. Yeah, yeah, he's all right. I like him. He's a good boy. I know. See, he thinks the reflection in the glass door over there is a, is a person. But it's just me. He just doesn't know because he's a dog. Let's see here. How much do you pay for rent? A lot. Uh, ha, uh, a best friend of mine never shared... Whoops. A best friend of mine never shared her dating life with me. Was that fake of her? No, man. Here's y'all. Y'all talk too much about your dating lives. You guys are sharing stuff with each other. You guys probably shouldn't be talking about. Some things should just simply be left for your partner behind closed doors and doesn't need to be aired out with the world. Handle your own problems between your partners, or you're gonna shed share all this bullshit about somebody to your friends, your family, or whatever, and then they're just gonna hate your partner. They're just gonna hate whoever it is you're talking to. And then now, what? You have to now defend them when y'all stay together or get back together? You guys, you're gonna have to go through all that bullshit while all your friends have these secret negative judgments about them. Why fucking do that? Why do that to yourself? Why put yourself in a position where you now gotta defend your fucking boyfriend because you just said all you ever do is talk shit about them to your friends or your mama or whatever. That's, that's a bad idea. You shouldn't do that. So instead, if y'all are going through, through it, they do annoying things you don't like or whatever the fuck. Keep it to yourself as long as y'all together. If y'all break up, dish it, sis. Do your thing. However, if you guys stay, if you guys stay together, why it's proliferate <laughs> to the world. Why proclaim that your ex or your current boy, I mean, that your current boyfriend or your current husband sucks all the time. Cause you're just creating that negative energy. You're going to have that negative vibe towards them secretly. Why would you want that? Why would you want that in your relationships? Bad idea. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's see. Okay. I know. Go check. Go check. Go check. Go see if there's somebody there. What are you doing? Talking to you. I just see it as contagious. But she always shared it with her other friend, just not me. Then you're not a, a close enough friend. Don't take it too personally. Bless you. Thank you. Hello from Oregon. Hello. Loving the music. Can you guys hear that? I actually try to turn it down a little bit so it wasn't so loud. But yeah, I got the kind of house playing stuff. Yeah, it's the whole the whole lighting setup actually is is kind of fucked up. If you look like this is like the actual true lighting in my house, but it's so dark. You see without like a light. So this is like a ring light. Kind of makes things look a little weird. But like, so I just turned this ring light on. It's not perfect, but we're getting through it. We're getting through it, guys. He won't tell us a sign. I'm 6'1", but I'm wearing like, like some, 
I'm not very flexible, but I'm wearing some like uh, shoes by Paul Stewart that give me like a little bit of a heel too. So it makes me like six two, six two and a half. Are you in LA? Yes, I'm in Beverly Hills. Lighting is great. Thank you, Nelly. Everybody else talking shit. You don't seem to have time to have a woman in your life. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm doing all right. Beautiful house, thank you. You going out? Yes, I'm probably gonna do like a dinner thing here soon. Yeah, sure. Are you trying today? Oh, I'm not trying so much. Doing all right. Are you a minimal minimalist? No. The opposite. Conspicuous consumption is more my style. Do you have a brother named Michael Bublé? No, that's funny you say that though. Just making sure you're not suffering from jaundice. Okay, good. Thank you. Ever in Chicago? And not if I can help it. He's freaking extra. I know. I know. I am extra. What color is your Bugatti? I don't have a Bugatti. I don't have it. Volkswagen Bugatti. There's, there's, there's a cool car. There's a cool cars. I got. A, I have a McLaren 720S and a um, Lamborghini Huracan Evo. The Lamborghini is uh, is golden, straight gold. Uh, look, real reflective gold. And the McLaren is like pearlescent blue. I have a motorcycle too. Show us the ring. Oh, you like the ring? Here's a uh, black diamonds, David German. What's the point of this? Good question. How often do you go back to SC? Fucking never. Almost never. Everyone in Beverly Hills? I, yeah, I really um, go there, but I, I know where you, where you mean. Wait, you're from South Carolina? Yes. What are you drinking? This is an energy drink. I've been up all day. I don't know how this got in my fridge. A Lottie. Tastes like Hawaiian shaved ice. Uh, today I was told that appearances don't matter to men. Thoughts, they, they fucking do matter. The way you look matters a lot to men. <laughs> Hello from Camden. Hello. I'm a sapiophile. Uh, you, a sapiophile? Do you mean that you are a sapiosexual? Meaning you're attracted to people that are intelligent? Is that what you mean? Appearance matters for everything. Yes, it does. She's asking in the context of dating, but you're right. Appearance does matter. The way you look, the way you dress matters a lot. Hello from Texas. I know that neck of the woods. I got family out there. Scared of Chicago? Nope. What's the first thing men look for in a woman? The way that they look. Hang on a second. Okay, am I back? You guys see me here? Sorry, I just uh, had to open the gate. Am I back? Can you guys see me on TikTok? Hello, hey Joey. Hello from South Carolina. Do you dance? Yeah, sometimes. This song, can you guys hear this song? The heat is too intense for it. You know the song, Witchcraft? So I'm playing, the, this is literally one of the songs I'm now learning to play on piano. It's like a little jazz number. It's okay, it's not bad, but it's fun. I like this kind of music. No, it's strictly taboo. Yeah. Yes, hey from Virginia. It's, uh, yeah, so I think Frank Sinatra like, yeah, re remade it, yeah. Hi from Tennessee, hello. Do you like smart women? Yeah. Yeah, being smart's not what all it's cracked up to be. Most people that are smart are depressed. First impression of me, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> have you ever been to Canada? I haven't. Is Midwest nice a real thing? Yeah, yeah. sure. Sick ring, ring light, yeah, thank you. It's a big ass ring light. Uh, did the gate open? Hang on, let me make sure this gate's open. One second. Okay, it did. 
it did open. I think I have the guest coming over here. We're gonna go to dinner, see how that goes. Thoughts on girls that are high maintenance? I like high maintenance. As long as they're doing the maintenance, I'll pay for it. You let them do the thing. Cars that you drive, uh, I, I just said this a minute ago. I have a, a Lamborghini and a McLaren. How do you feel about Kansas City? <laughs> Kansas City, Utah? Hello. I need a man like you, I'll take that as a compliment. I swear to God, I'm not even sure. I should probably I should check the cameras, but let me talk to you guys a little bit longer here. Where do you live? I'm in Beverly Hills. Love or hookups, I like both. What? Uh, what's your sign? I'm a Libra. That's funny you asked me that. I'm a Libra. Okay, yeah, nice. All right, guys, that is my, uh, that's my time. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for joining me. We'll see you next time. I promise I'm going to post. I know it's been like four fucking months, but I promise I'm going to post. I'll be back soon. Thanks again for joining my live. We'll see you again soon. Uh, add me on Instagram. Okay. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.